Hello guys, BJ Manuel here. I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. So recently, I discovered how to use 3D and emboss on Pixel Lab if you are using Android 10. Now, over the years, I've been looking for solutions. I've searched through YouTube. Everything I saw there was garbage, right? And they give you tricks that doesn't work. But this trick that I'm about to show you truly works. It is tested and trusted, right? So because as you can see on your screen right now, that logo I used Android 10 and I applied the emboss and the 3D um, effects on it. So uh, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video and get started. Okay, so let's say this is your logo that you have designed and you want to emboss it. Now we all know what is going to happen um, when you add emboss to it. Let's say I emboss like so. Yeah, that is going to happen. Now, what you need to do, let me blow this up a little bit so you see what I'm doing. Now, what you need to do is, let's go back to the emboss, is look for a sweet spot. Like I always say, I, I, I use sweet spot because that is where, um, you see, just continue looking for a spot where it does not, yeah. So, you have something like this now. That is the sweet spot where it does not distort. There is no distortion here. So you can go ahead and just edit your emboss to how you want it to look like. Yeah. And once you are done doing all that, fine. Let's say you are okay. Now, after you have embossed it, in case you want to apply your 3D shape, this is where to apply the 3D. Now you can see the 3D also did not distort. So that is how you go about it. All right, that's how you do it, guys. Period. You are done. You can change the perspective. You can change whatever um, you want to change. Right. So once you are done, then you can go ahead and export it. So you come here. Now, if you try to edit it and it distorts again like this, right? So you, because you know at this point it is bigger than what you want it to, to be, right? So uh, you might want to adjust it and then it will distort, right? So what you need to do, guys, is sorry, the, yeah, let's put that back. Okay. So what you need to do now is go ahead to your background and make it a transparent background, switch off all the layers that you don't need and then export. So I'll export it as a PNG file now. Export. You see it's taking longer because um, when you make a 3D, it's very heavy. So now what you need to do now is we'll come back to, yeah, and then bring back our layers that we switched off. And then I'll switch the main one off because I don't need it. And then I'll go to my media and import what I just exported. So we bring that in. And then I'll just adjust it a little bit like so. Boom. And then now I can adjust it to whatever size I want. Alright guys. So this is how you go about using the emboss on Android 10. Every other tutorial I've watched on YouTube is garbage. They are just rambling. Alright. But if you can follow this pattern, you are good to go. Alright. Now, just like I said, this is the first way that I, I, I normally use the emboss on Android 10. Now, there is another way that you can go about it. Let's just return back to how we were for a minute. Alright, so let's say that this is you trying to use the emboss. Now, go in and bring in the emboss again. Apply. And then it gives you that uh, distortion so you go just like we have done before all right and, and adjust it 
I'm just trying to take my time to explain this so that we can all get it once and for all, all right? So we don't have to deal with uh, the issue of emboss ever again, ever again, all right? So now, you have this now, and um, say probably you also want to add the 3D, you can go ahead and add your 3D, okay? Um, you can make it oblique if you want to, or um, use the uh, perspective. Nice. Now, the next thing you want to do is now come to click out and come to draw. Alright, I'll choose the white color so you can see what I drew. And then you can just draw something like this. Or let me draw it away from it. Okay, fine. Now, this is if you don't want to export it as PNG and bring it back in. You just want to continue with your edit. Now, this is what you can do. Now, you come to your layer and then you, you see my logo and my... Um, I'm trying to match my logo together with what I just drew now. So, I'll match them together and then it will give me that. Now, all I need to do now... Now, you can see that it is now a shape with this guy. You can see now. So, all I need to do now is I'll go to Erase. I'll come to Erase and then I'll just erase that feather. Okay, guys. So, that's how you go about that. Now, you can see you just have this now. So, you can go ahead and adjust it. Alright. Somebody will say this one is better. Well, um, different strokes for different folks, right? So, you can just do that and you are good to go. All right, so now you can adjust as you want without having to fear uh, that it is going to be, going to be distorted. All right, so that's how you go about it. Now, the next thing you want to, uh, for instance, if you want to apply it to, say you want to apply it to your um, text, all right, all you need to do is apply and do the same thing, all right, do the same thing. Yeah, you might look at it and say it did not distort. It will if you eventually <laughs> adjust it. Okay, so what you need to do now is now that it's there, you can just repeat. You can go ahead now and repeat the same post, um, procedure like the former procedure we did with the logo, right? And you are good to go. Now, to save yourself the stress of coming back to do the same thing over and over again, say you want to do another work and you have the same um, emboss and whatever problem. What you need to do with this guy is come to styles and then go to um, come to styles and go to save. Then you save. You see, save the current text as a new style. You save it. Okay. Now say you want to you add another text like this guy and then um, let's change the font let's say we have a font like so cool and then you want to add the emboss whatever you can just come click here come to styles and go to browse then go to my styles you see that's the guy right here all right so you've already it's it applies all your effects on the text automatically so what you need to do is you as you can guess find your sweet spot and you are good to go all right so this is how you go about using the emboss on android 10 guys um i just dis decided i felt like i should do this so that um, yeah for those of us that have been stranded you can be stranded no more thank you so much guys for watching if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel before you leave and um, like this video, share this video. Someone is out there that is stranded with how to uh, use a boss on Android 10. So share the video so others can also learn what you have learned. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.